people is me king human and yeah I'm in a mood today got my goofy mug got my goofy hat and it's Sunday and Thunderbirds are on TV what could be better Thunderbirds are go <laughs> I love that cornball shit mmm okay so this video is gonna be about Amazon Kindle publishing and making big dough putting your ebooks on Kindle. Now, I've talked about this before. A lot of you guys know that I made a crap load of dough writing simple stupid ebooks and putting them on eBay. At the time it was eBay. That was the biggest thing going. Uh, now eBay's come out with their policy. You can't put ebooks on there. You can't have anything that's a di digital download. So you know, it kind of killed the market, and I've been out of that business for a long time. But here comes Amazon's Kindle, which is a huge market. I mean, it's bigger than eBay. So I know if I get off my lazy ass and put my books on Kindle, I can make a crap load of dough. Because my books are kind of timeless, you know, it's it's just the concepts are good. Anyway... I've been lazy as usual. I am just fat, lazy, unmotivated. You know, when you got a full belly, it's hard to go out and farm the fields to, you know, to grow food. I, I don't need to work hard anymore, so I'm not motivated. But I know a lot of you guys are. Now, the thing that really was a barrier for me was the fact that, <clears throat> pardon me, that I was going to have to reformat all my books. Now, my books I kept in RTF format. Um, some of them are in uh, uh, Microsoft, just a simple Microsoft Word document format. Some of them are in PDF format. And I know that Kindle has their own damn thing, and they want it formatted a special way. And even if you think you formatted it to their standards, a lot of times... When you look at it on a Kindle, it looks like crap. So this represented a lot of work to me to learn how to reformat my books, learn how to make a good Kindle book cover, learn how to price my books, all this crap I didn't know. I didn't want to put a lot of time and energy into learning it. And uh, thus the video. I found a guy who made a software that automatically formats <laughs> the books for Kindle and it automatically uploads them to Kindle and it does a crap load more it makes it so easy now you guys know I don't usually tout somebody else's products I'm not here to be pitching stuff but I think this is an important tool if you're into this marketplace if you're looking to get into self-publishing books and making money with Kindle this is something that you need in your toolbox. I bought it. I bought and paid for it, even though the guy was giving it to me for free. I paid for it because I think it's that good. Uh, I'm putting a link to his software down there. Go look at his videos and watch every minute of that video and learn what it's going to do for you because I, I just got all warm and runny when I saw this. And it got me so motivated to the point where I'm actually going to get off my lazy lard ass and get my books back into making me money. Because <clears throat> I love this business for people that don't have a lot of money. <clears throat> you invest a little bit of your time to write a book. And even you people that say, oh, King Human, I can't write a book. I'm an idiot. Look, I'm the biggest idiot there is. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, go buy Dragon Software, Dictation Software, and just dictate your book verbally. And then drop it into this guy's software and have it formatted into a Kindle book. Hit the button, it uploads it to Kindle, boom goes the dynamite, you're done. And you'll be amazed. But this guy's going to teach you so much. Okay, I, I don't mean to sound like I'm really pitching this guy's product. And it is going to cost you a few bucks. But look, I think it's worth every penny. I mean, for me, uh, it was. So I'll keep you guys updated as I go down the road. 
Now, how much money can you guys make from Kindle Publishing? Again, you'll see some fantastic examples with his video. But me personally, I've talked with guys on Skype who followed up when I did my first Kindle Publishing video. And uh, one guy was telling me, now this is kind of once removed. I'm not trying to pump sunshine up anybody's skirt here. Um, I didn't talk to the actual guy, but I talked to a guy who knows this guy. And the guy I talked to is very credible, and uh, he does, he's not prone to exaggeration or hyperbole. And he said that his friend, when Kindle first started, his friend got on Kindle and uploaded a crap load of public domain books. If you don't know what public domain books are, they're books that are free. They were written so long ago that there's no copyright on them. And yet they're still in demand. And if you don't think this is true, Amazon itself has all these old public domain books that they've locked up. But anyway, this guy, and they make a fortune. Amazon makes a fortune off of public domain books. Free content, content they got for free. They put it on their book, Amazon book site. And uh, boy, do they make money with that free content. But here's the thing. This guy did it on Kindle. Uploaded a crap load of public domain books onto Kindle. And he makes $7,000 a month now. Just sitting on his ass. All the work is done. That's what I love about this ebook business. You do some initial setup work. But once you've done it, it runs automatically. It makes money while you sleep. You're, you're, it's like printing money. It's so gravy. I can't tell you. And uh, I, I believe this guy. The thing is, I'm not sure that Amazon still accepts public domain uh, submissions. So you're going to have to check that out. Check out that. And I also want you, if you're going to look at public domain stuff, uh, this is a good book. It'll give you not only links to where you can get public domain stuff for free that you can use in your books, whether it be graphics, entire books, whatever, but it'll give you the legalities so you know you're not stepping on anybody's toes. Uh, this is called The Public Domain. It is written by attorney Stephen Fishman. You can get it on Amazon. You might be able to find it on eBay used copies. Uh, it's worth getting too if you're going to go into this business and if you're going to do public domain. Me, I like to write my own ebooks. That's the other thing I'm going to tout this guy's, <laughs> this guy's software because he's got another piece of software that actually goes into Amazon and spies in it and it comes back with the niche that you want to write your ebook about it gives you the keywords it gives you the counts it gives you everything so you can actually go into Amazon's Kindle and spy and see oh wow Look at that. That is the hottest subject right now. I'm going to crank out an ebook on this and get it in there. And it gives you the keywords and, I don't know, some, some, I haven't done that software yet, so I can't really talk much about it. But it makes sure your book gets into the most viewed section of the Kindle by use of keyword implanting or some, I don't know. you got to watch the videos. Um... You know, I've been golfing instead of working, but I'm telling you I'm getting on this. Uh, so there you go. Uh-oh. Golf match. Let's see. Uh, Chris isn't golfing today. That is. Dan is, and I am. Okay, there's my golf match for today. And yes, I just started golfing because I'm old. I said I wasn't going to golf until I got to be about like 80 years old. But, you know, what can I tell you? It's a boring game to me. You only get to hit the ball once. You know, I need something. To... Anyway, you don't want to hear my nonsense. Okay, link is down there. Oh, by the way, in the interest of clarity, let me clear this up because I always get shit for this. 
Yes, that is an affiliate link down there, which means the guy who published that uh, software gives me a few bucks whenever you guys buy it. Now that I've said that, I want to clarify it. First of all, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give this guy a plug if I didn't believe in this product 110%. It's not, you know, his little tiny kickback paycheck wouldn't change my lifestyle one little fucking bit. So I'm not doing it for the affiliate kickback. Also, the affiliate money that gets paid to me doesn't come out of your pocket. It doesn't, it comes out of his pocket. And thirdly, the money goes to charity, so shut the fuck up, you assholes. Everybody's looking for a reason to fucking hate on something. Well, there it is. Yes, I do get an affiliate check from the guy. St. Jude's Research Hospital for Kids is my favorite charity. Anything that helps kids is my cost. So there you go. I suggest you donate a few bucks to charity, especially if this makes you some money. Go check it out because, uh, I mean, this has got me warm and runny to the point where I'm ready to come out of retirement and uh, spend a few hours getting my old ebooks dusted off, reformatted through this software and up on Kindle. And I'll give you guys progress reports as it goes. But the thing is, you want to get in on this while it's in the early stages. I wish I would have done it a f months ago, back when Kindle first started. But again, I didn't have, you know, there were obstacles. And I need it easy. This software is making it easy. Okay, it's uh, I'm I'm pitching this way too much. All right, I'm out of here. Golf time. Bye, Inara. Be cool to somebody besides yourself. There's a lot of people less fortunate than you. Donate a few bucks to charity. And Thunderbirds are go. Ooh.